This is our uh, Coco Amor, which is a white chocolate, tangerine, and coconut bonbon. Brett Roy is one of the world's best chocolatiers, winning 14 awards, including two international gold medals this year alone. There's just one problem. It's a consistent thing that a lot of people still haven't heard of it. Tucked away on the main floor of the Commerce Building downtown, Roy fills orders for clients around the globe. But local retail is just a small part of his business. And he's noticed a similar trend with restaurants too. Really good quality eateries and food production here in the city. But I, I see them getting written up elsewhere, but I don't hear about them myself here either. So it's a, uh, I think it's a common thread. On Thursday, Air Canada issued its list of the best new restaurants in Canada. Three of them are from Edmonton. The Alder Room, number 10, Cafe Linnea at 6, and Bar Clementine, number 5. It kind of creates that buzz, like what's going on in Edmonton. We're really excited about that and to be part of that. Graham Haffermel is the evening chef at Cafe Linnea. He's hoping this recognition breeds more local restaurants and an appetite from people in the city to support them. The thing is, Edmontonians have to get that too. They have to understand. Let's go to these restaurants. Let's check them out. Let's, you know, go to a restaurant that's owner operated and, and have some fun with it. Mary Bailey is the editor of Tomato Food and Drink magazine and a panelist for Air Canada's list. She says a claim outside Edmonton only goes so far. It's up to customers to ensure they thrive. Even if it's a little out of their comfort zone, I mean, Edmontonians spend way too much time at global chains, in my opinion. Right now, Brett Roy can't worry much about that. Christmas is around the corner, and he's being recognized in France in the new year. Kent Morrison, Global News.